I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very popular question from calculus. The question here is determine the points where the tangent will be horizontal on the graph of f of x equals to 1 over 3 x cube minus 5 x minus 4 over x. Now we'll try to do this using first principle the very basic definition of limits which is rate of change let me write this as instantaneous rate of change as equals to limit of the function as h approaches 0 for f of a plus h minus f of a over h so that is the instantaneous rate of change now the question says determine the points so a could be the point where tangent will be horizontal that means that instantaneous rate of change should be zero right slope of a horizontal line is zero on the graph of the function f of x equals to 1 over 3 x cube minus 5 x minus 4 over x so so we can find instantaneous rate of change a general expression for a and then solve for a so all those values of a will be the points where x equals to a with horizontal tangent on the graph of the given function right so that is what our approach is so let's begin by finding instantaneous rate of change so it will be limit of the function as h approaches 0 so f of a plus h means replace x with a plus h so what we get here is 1 over 3 instead of x I am writing a plus h whole cube you see that so that's a cubic function now we have a linear function 5 times a plus h reciprocal function minus 4 over a plus h right so that is the first part f of a plus h so let me use square brackets so that is the first part minus f of a so f of a means replace x with a right so we'll have minus 1 over 3 a cube minus 5a minus 4 over a right so that is our expression and all this is divided by h so what I will do here is well let me write this as okay let me just say all this divided by h so that is the expression now let us expand and simplify so we get limit h approaches 0 I'm writing this as 1 over h right there, right? So 1 over h. That is the square bracket. So everything will come inside. So so this h I've written as 1 over h. So all this divided by h. So let us expand. I get 1 over 3 a plus b whole cube formula. a cube minus 3, I mean plus 3a square h plus 3a h square plus h cube. That is this formula and then we'll just expand this we have uh, minus 5 a minus 5 h and then we have minus 4 over a plus h right minus and here we have 1 over 3 a cube minus 5 a minus 4 over a now if you notice uh, some of the terms will get cancelled off when you open this bracket, multiply this by 3, 1 over 3a cube, you'll get minus 1 over 3a cube. So they cancel out, right? Minus 5a cancels with minus 5a. So we are left with all these terms which have h in them. Now let's, we need to simplify that particular term. What, what is minus 4 over a plus h minus 4a? This we need to uh, simplify, which we can do on the side also, but we'll do... Uh, now with all other terms so we can write this as 1 over h now let me open now we have already cancelled this term so if I open 1 over 3 times 3 is 1 so we get a square h plus a h square plus h cube over 3 right so this is 1 over 3 h cube over 3 now here we have minus 5h then we have minus 4 over a plus h 
and minus 4 over a minus and minus becomes plus so it is plus 4 over a right uh, to simplify this we will take common denominator and work it out so we have limit h approaches 0 1 over h so we'll just rewrite these terms as such now we can take a common denominator which will be let me write plus here okay plus and then common denominator is a times a plus h right now so this is minus 4 so I'm writing plus minus right so a gets multiplied by 4a so we get 4a and uh, here because I've made this as minus so this is plus and minus do you see so you get minus 4a and here we get plus 4 times a plus h so we get limit h approaches 0 1 over h a square h plus a h square plus h cube over 3 minus 5 h now minus 4 a plus 4 a is 0 so you are left with plus 4 h right so you are left with plus 4 h so we will write this here plus 4 h over a times a plus h okay now you'll notice that every term here has h which we can factor out so I could write this as limit h approaches 0 1 over h so if I factor h I get h a square plus a h plus h square over 3 minus 5 plus 4 over a times a plus h right so this is what I get now at this stage you can cancel h and h so now we can substitute h as 0 in this equation since there is no h in the denominator so once you substitute that you get this these terms will become 0 all those which have h in them right now so what we get here is a square so we get a square this is 0 this is 0 minus 5 and h is 0 so you get plus 4 over a square correct so that is what you get as the instantaneous rate of change of this function at any point x equals to a right at any point x equals to a now since we are looking for a horizontal tangent that should be equal to 0 right so this instantaneous rate should be equal to 0 since we are looking for horizontal tangent right let us solve this equation to find possible values of a okay let me make some room we'll do further from here so we have a square minus 5 plus 4 over a square equals to 0 so we'll multiply by a square so we get a to the power of 4 minus 5 a square plus 4 equals to 0 now we can factor this equation 4 times 1 is 4 both minus will add to minus 5 so we could write this as a square minus 4 times a square minus 1 right equals to 0 now here we have a couple of solutions a square minus 4 can be 0 right so this leads to two solutions and this also leads to two solutions so the solution here is a equals to plus minus 2 here the value of a could be plus minus 1 right so all these points where x is equals to plus minus 2 or plus minus 1 tangent to this graph is going to be horizontal you get the idea right so now what you can do is you can substitute in this equation plus minus 2 and plus minus 1 and calculate the values right so you can write what is f of 1 to get the y value right so f of 1 will be if you write 1 here you get 1 over 3 minus 5 minus 4 correct use your calculator or fractions to find the answer right so we'll use 
1 divided by 3 minus 9 equals 2. Let us say we get minus 26 over 3. So this is f of 1. Similarly, f of minus 1 will be. So when I do cube of minus 1, we'll get negative, right? So negative 1 over 3. Here, this will become positive 5. And this will become positive 4, right? Positive 4. So in this case, we have 9 minus 1 over 3, right? 1 divided by 3 equals to 26 over 3, right? 26 over 3. Similarly, let us find the values for f of 2 and minus 2. So if I substitute 2 here, I get 8 over 3. So 8 divided by 3 minus 5 times 2 minus 4 divided by 2, which is 2, let me write like this, equals to minus 28 over 3, right? Minus 28 over 3. And then f of minus 2 will be, substitute minus 2 here, so this term will be negative, right? So that will be positive, this will be positive. Let's begin from here, these positive terms, that is 2, and uh, plus 5 divided by 2, I mean, sorry, uh, this is 2, 4 divided by 2, 2 plus 5 times 2, right? And then we'll do minus 8 over 3, 8 divided by 3. So I'm just saving some space and writing. Anyway, so we get 28 over 3, right? So therefore, we get four points where the tangent is going to be horizontal. And so we can write our answer as the points are, so we have minus 1, 26 over 3, 1 minus 26 over 3, 2 minus 28 over 3, and minus 2, 28 over 3, right? So these are the three points where the graph of this function will have horizontal tangent. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. So this is a very important question for you. It comes in rate of change, in limits, and also in derivatives using first principle. I'm Anil Kumar. You can subscribe to my videos and learn a lot. Thank you and all the best.